Hey, this is Stan Arthur here. The object of this tutorial is to take some green screen footage here and completely process it within Premiere Pro 2014.2 without having to go into After Effects and try to get the most perfect key we can. All right, first thing I'm going to do, first of all, this footage was robbed from the internet. I just want to let you know that. Uh, I'm going to open that up. If we go to the end here, oh, those are the people who created this green screen footage. So they have credit now. I'm going to go past, I'm going to scrub back on that. And <laughs> let's close that up. Okay, moving on. First thing I'm going to do is, is highlight that, press the Alt key, and drag it up and create a copy of it, and then turn it off. We're going to come back and use that later. First thing we're going to do on this footage is let me go right to this spot right here where the phone comes up here okay it's a young lady talking on her cell phone we're going to go back to the effects tab and we're going to type in crop take the crop tool drag it onto the original footage here going to the effects control grabbing the pen tool i am going to draw a mask around this young lady and we might have to adjust a little bit, but we're gonna just do a preliminary mask here, cut out those logos and any other fending footage. There we go, losing a little bit here, so I'm gonna go to about 25% here. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go to about 10% here, and I'm gonna drag this down, drag this down. Hello, there we go, okay. Back to fit, and now I'm just gonna scrub through the footage and make sure that she is staying within those parameters. Her elbow, look at her elbow there, you see that? I'm gonna drag this out a little bit, Keep her, get her elbow in there. All right, keep going. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, her hair, very close there, so pull that out a little bit. All right, I think we can come down some because she's not that tall. All right, keep going through it. Very close here, doesn't matter. You can pull it out a little bit. All right, looking pretty good. Okay, I like the mask, I'm gonna keep it. Go all the way to the end, where she's cracking up, okay. So now that we've got the mask exactly the way we want it, I'm gonna invert it, and then I'm gonna pull the left adjustment all the way. Look what we have there. Look at that. Is that great or what? Now we're just keying the area that we need to key. Leaving all of this out. We're making ultra work a lot less hard. Typing in ultra in the effects panel. Dra dragging and dropping ultra onto the clip. Closing up the mask because we're done with that. Whatever. Now, with the Ultra enabled, we're gonna drag the eyedropper, and drag it over here close to her hair, which is usually the most problem part. And if we scrub through that, we can see this looks really awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open that up. Hello, here we go, there we go. Open that up a little bit. Look through that and look for real problems with the hair, but the hair is perfect. What is not perfect is this area right here by the skirt, but everything else looks darn good. I scrub through that, watch her hair. Oh man, we're getting every little strand of hair in there. Both here and here, it looks really, really good. All right, let's go back. And what we're gonna do now is try to fix this problem area with the skirt here. We're gonna do that on the second instance of the clip. We're gonna enable it. And since we've got Ultra already dialed in here, I'm gonna drop Ultra on there. Oh, wait, yo, no, 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 back up. Before we do that, we have to right click on it. We have to nest it. Why? You'll find out. Actually, you won't, but just just nest it. You have to in order to do it. It's like pre-composing in After Effects. You just have to do it, all right? Drag and drop Ultra onto the clip because it's already there, but we're gonna close it up for now. And we're gonna go back to that crop tool. Don't wanna spend a whole lot of time on this because time is money, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take this little square tool. Instead of using the pen tool, I'm just gonna drag this out. I'm gonna drag this out a little bit. Looking good. Okay, and I'm just gonna drag this down to her belt area. This is where the problems were, down here. Okay. Making sure she's staying well within that, and she is. That's looking great. 
All right, we've got that the way we want it now, so we're going to invert it. And we're going to just drag left is fine. And that's all there is to that. Now we're going back to Ultra, grabbing the eyedropper, fixing that. But instead of the, the default setting, we're going to go to Aggressive, and that's going to fix this skirt up just fine. Now if we blow that up, you can see that edge is looking a whole lot better. And let me ask you this. When are you ever going to put a black skirt against a completely black background? And the answer is probably never. So let's fix that up. I'm going to take these two layers here, highlight them both. I'm going to drag them up one, and then I'm going to go back to the project panel, and I'm going to create a color mat. The color of the color mat does not matter at this point. I'm going to take the color mat, drop it into that first video track, stretch it out the length of the clip, highlight it, and then I'm going to go back to effects and type in ramp. I'm just going to use the default ramp settings on the average everyday Premiere Pro ramp. And look at that. All right, let's go back and see what we have here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at look at the hair. Look at look at the hair. Look at this, this is looking really really good. Look at look at look at the look at that. All right, now. Now we're going to go back. This could be good enough for some of you and it is click off. Get out of here. But what I'm going to do right now is just go back and do some double checks and make sure we're good. On the original clip, I'm going to go back to Ultra. Here we go. I'm going to go back to Ultra and I'm going to go from composite to alpha channel. Ooh, I got a little bit of a transparency issue. Remember, we're just going from the waist up, right? So I got a little bit of a transparency issue there. So from matte generation, I'm going to decrease the transparency until that goes away right there. Now, if you hold the control key down, you can get much, much finer adjustment here. All right. Still got a little bit there. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to let that go. Okay. And go back to composite. I'm looking at this now, and I see a little bit of schmutz over here. I can see a little line over there. So what I'm going to do, let me blow that up so you can see it. I can see a little line right here. This is imperfection right here, so we can't have that. The way we deal with that is we go to Shadows, and we're going to dial that up until that disappears. See, there it is, big, bad, and ugly, and we just dial it back till it disappears. We're down around 15 here. We were down around 50 before. There, it's gone now. Let's leave it at about 27. That, that works fine, but it's gone. So we can see now we have a darn near perfect key. The only thing I don't like is that her dress is a little faded out. So we're going to fix that. It's one more step. We're going to go back to the project tab. Click new item icon. We're going to create an adjustment layer. OK. Drag it out on top, creating a new track, track number four. And then with that highlighted, doesn't really matter. We're going to I'm just going to type in fast. I'm going to grab the fast color corrector, drag it on. Open this up a little bit more, just make everything a little bit bigger. Coming on down, input levels, I'm going to boost the shadows just a smidge and I'm going to boost the highlights just a smidge. It doesn't really affect the background too much. And have a look at this now. How does this look to you? The shirt's nice and white. The skirt's nice and black. On that background, the hair looks perfect. Now, who would be able to tell that that was a key? Well, us experts would. Ha ha. But other than that, I think it looks great. Now, if you've enjoyed this little exercise, then please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Stan Arthur.